Greetings. I'm a high school astronomy teacher that is actively using AI products in the classroom, and I want to share some of the cool uses I have found for AI products. Today we're going to talk about prompt engineering, the basics. In this episode, I'm going to discuss the basics of prompt engineering. We'll learn about the four elements I use to construct prompts, and then some of the things I use to refine my prompts once they have been um, crafted. Now, let's start off by defining what is prompt engineering. Now, for me, I define prompt engineering like this. Prompt engineering enables users to guide the AI in performing tasks by crafting instructions that clearly outline and define the user's request. I asked ChatGPT4 what its thought. It came back with, prompt engineering is a process of designing and refining questions or statements for AI models, making them produce more accurate and useful responses. I like that word refining. We're going to come back to that. Now, when crafting a prompt, I consider four different elements. The context or goal of the prompt, what I want it to do, the task, the request, modifiers, which is kind of how I want my output to look, and then some additional guidance. What kind of um, other instructions am I going to give? Now, I'm going to say that not all prompts are going to require all four of these elements, but these are the ones that I find in my more complex prompts that I keep coming back to. So let's start off with context and goal. Um, context help the AI understand the background and intent of your request. Providing um, context enables GPT to generate more relevant and accurate responses. I think this is particularly important in a school or educational setting. For example, we can set up um, context like we are preparing a presentation for high school science students or something like given the science Saturn HSS ESS 1-4 or maybe even just given um, student success rate criteria. Or maybe we give the uh, AI a role. Um, you are my astronomy tutor. Or what is this document for? Who's it going to? This one's for my supervisor. So we can use the context to set the tone for the AI. Now, the main part of the prompt is the task or the request. But what kind of output, what kind of information do we need? Now, requests can include things like proofread or fact check um, a, a piece of text, or write me five multiple choice ass assessment questions, or list five reasons that X, or evaluate the argument Y. Tutor me on this subject, ask me short answer questions, or what I use it a lot, give me five bullet points on this topic. Now, the next part is what I call the modifiers. Now in this element, we're going to use statements that specify how I want the contact to look. For example, one I use a lot, limit response to 50 words. Or present as bullet points, limit to 20 words. Use that one a lot. Include signature lines if I'm writing my student use contract. That's something you could add. Um, use a CSV format, use tabular format. Again, this is how you want the output to look. Now, the last part of a um, prompt that I use is what I call the additional guidance. Instructions, examples, preferences. Um, this may um, include specifying detail, complexity, or tone. For example, some of the things you might use as additional guidance are include five multiple choice questions about this document. Um, keep the language level suitable for ninth grade students. This one I use a lot. Make the tone enthusiastic, cordial, professional, jovial, spooky, etc. Um, one I also use often, use the writing style of Carl Sagan, or maybe Edgar Allan Poe, or Stephen King, etc. When you want to add a little flair to whatever document you're putting together. And this one I do not highlight enough. You can request your documents to be in Spanish. Okay, and this is not cut and paste into Google Translate. This is being natively written in Spanish. Very powerful um, tool, especially if you have um, uh, multilingual students in your school. Now, let's take a moment and put this all together. Let's go ahead and craft a prompt that includes all four of these elements. Okay, first element, context. We are building an information organizer for high school biology class in accordance with NGSS standard MSLS 2-1. Okay, that's my context. Next, I'm going to talk about the task. What do I want it to do? Well, construct a chart of the seven land biomes. Include, um, include column for biome, description, animal life, plant life, and abiotic features. 
Um, so that's my task. Now let's look at the modifiers. Limit each entry to 20 words. You don't want a big chunk in an organizer, right? You don't want a page of material, right? So you want it to be 20 words. And put it into tabular format. Put it into an organizer format, into chart. Now I probably could have figured this out because I used the word chart earlier, but this just emphasizes I want this in a chart format. And then lastly, we call what we call the um, um, general guidance. Okay, additional guidance. Include four short answer questions regarding this document and the science standard. So this is going to put together a um, prompt that's going to make me an organizer for my biology class. So let's go ahead and engage our AI and see how this prompt looks. Now, before you go, please like, share, or subscribe, and comment on this video. Okay, let's engage the AI. Okay, so this is the ChatGPT interface. Over here we have the um, chat history I have, and we may be coming back to this as we do some of our edits. And over here I've pasted in our prompt, okay? And let's go ahead and just execute the prompt we built. So as you can see now, it's putting together our graphic organizer and, and adding, tagging on to the end our short answer questions um, with in, in accordance with our science standard. So up here, if you recall this part here, this was what we refer to as the context, okay? This is what we are building an information organizer for high school biology. Here I put together the task or request. This is the actual document um, instructions to how to build it. Then in this statement here, we put in the um, how we want it to look. We wanted to make sure there was only 20 um, words per window and that it was in a tabular or chart format. And then lastly, I asked it to tag on the science standard questions at the end. So this is a very typical document that we could present um, using um, ChatGPT and our new knowledge of prompt engineering. So now let's do a little bit of editing on this chart or on this prompt. Um, one of the things I like to do these days is ask the um, AI, how can I expand my chart? So um, can you uh, suggest another column. And it says location. Oh, that's a good one. I should have had that um, uh, column. So now let's look on how we can edit and refine our prompt in order to add this new column. Editing a prompt is an important part of prompt engineering. Okay, so Let's go and edit our prompt now to add this additional location column to our document. Now there's a couple of different ways we can do it. First of all, we can just type it right here. Add the location column. And here we go. So it's went ahead and added that column to our document. However, we didn't get our questions. Okay, so my preferred way is if we're going to go ahead and add a column or modify our prompt, let's go ahead and modify the initial prompt. Let's go ahead and scroll back up to the top here and go ahead and edit this prompt right here. So go ahead and selecting this edit, we now can go in and add this prompt directly. Oops. And now we're rebuilding it. It's added our column here and it has added our questions as well. Now a third way we can edit our prompts is actually to go back to our original document. We could go into our document and make whatever edits we wanted here. So for example, we could add um, comma location right here. Okay. And then we would just cut and paste this prompt now over into a new chat. So those are different ways you can edit and refine your prompt. So let's go back now, look at some other refining techniques and then wrap things up. Remember, as the AI emphasized in its definition of prompt engineering, prompt engineering is also a process of refining your prompt. If you're not getting the intended results, Try some of the following. Um, start a new chat. Remember, ChatGPT is using your entire open chat to refine its results. Sometimes it's just better to begin with a brand new chat and see what happens. 
Um, check, edit, and change punctuation. Most of the time, ChatGPT is quite forgiving about punctuation. However, sometimes punctuation can have a dramatic impact. Um, commas are for separating lists. Uh, periods are used for closing a statement. Um, semicolons are for linking tasks together. Play around with your punctuation and see if that improves your results. Um, try reordering things. Sometimes maybe you need to put this in front of that. Try that. Sometimes um, that will um, in, um, make your results a little better. And of course, you can make changes to increase clarity. Now, let's wrap things up and talk about what we've learned. In this episode, we learned the basics of prompt engineering. Uh, we defined what prompt engineering was, both I did and the AI did. I identified for you four elements that I use to craft prompts. For example, context and goal. Uh, given this science standard, or we are making this for this audience, uh, you are my history tutor. Um, the next uh, task and request, what document do you want me to build? What do you want to teach me? What are, what are you going to tutor me in? And then we talked about modifiers. What's the output going to look like? Do I want it in bullet point format? Do I want it in tabular? Do I want CSV? Um, also, we talked about the other concept of additional guidance. What else should I add to it? What is the tone? What is the level of complexity? Or you could ask it to um, present your document in Spanish. Then we talked a little bit about strategies we can use for editing and refining our prompts. Now, I hope you liked what you learned today. And if you have, please like, share, and subscribe, and comment too. Thank you very much for your time.